Hello, welcome to another video. So today we are going to be doing another uh, tasting. Uh, can't really go anywhere because we are still in lockdown. So we're going to be tasting some coffee today. Uh, over Christmas I did get this set of 25 different coffees, different blends from all over the world and so we are going to be doing uh, some coffee tasting. Uh, it's going to be a series of videos. Uh, I can't drink 25 coffees today but uh, we'll put it all together and we'll see what we come up with. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to do a coffee tasting or coffee cupping as it's known in the professional coffee world and uh, as we all know we all do love a good cupping so uh, without further ado, let's dive right in. Here we go. Okay, so today's coffee is this one right here. So this is El, to to El Tolu. El Tolu. Uh, so let's have a little read about where it says here. It's got hints of lavender, honey and orange. There you go. Uh, so uh, it's got a light roast. It's got acidity of uh, orange. Uh, process is washed. Sweetness is honey. Um, unwrap this coffee and dive into a heady world of lavender, honey and orange. The mouthful of syrupy and floral notes linger. Transporting you to a caffeine nirvana. Wow, some uh, some big words there. Some big words. Uh, varieties are Castillo and Colombia. It's got hints of lavender, honey, and orange, as we just uh, mentioned there. So that's uh, going to be our first one. Uh, it is part of the set. It is a uh, coffee uh, advent calendar, but uh, I didn't do it over Christmas, so I'm going to do it now. And this is the day one, the El Tolu. Tolu, Tolu. There you go, that's where it is. Let's have a little look there. You got it, there we go. So, um, cupping coffee is a lot like uh, a beer tasting. So it starts off with the uh, the smells, the aromas, and then we move on to uh, the taste, uh, and then we'll have a little uh, talk about what we get at the end of it as well, all the different notes. And uh, yeah, so first of all, what we're gonna do, see, I've got a little bowl here. I'm gonna pour it into the bowl. Let's have a little look here. Str off the bat, off the bat, I'm getting coffee. It's got a nose of coffee with that. So we're going to pour it straight in here, see what we're getting here. So we're going to smell it first of all. We're going to smell it firstly without any hot water. Then we're going to add some hot water, see if it changes the aroma slightly. I am getting a little bit of orange, a little bit of orange. Uh, I can't remember what was uh, supposed to be getting lavender, honey and orange. Orange is what I'm getting. Orange. Uh, so just to sum up, orange. You got it. All right, so we're gonna add a little bit of water to this. I've got my uh, new cafetiere on the go. This is the uh, Bodum, uh, the fresh way to brew fresh coffee and tea. So there you go. Uh, that's Bodum there. So I'm gonna put it into here and uh, we're gonna brew it up. Here we go. Still getting orange, still getting orange. Here we go. That's not good. It's going everywhere. Man. Got it. Put that there. Any remnants on your fingers, put that in as well. Uh, just add it all in. You can vacuum later, absolutely, no problem at all. Uh, so we'll put all that in there. Still getting orange, still getting orange. Here we go. Let's add some hot water here. So I've got a uh, pre-made boiling hot water here. I'm gonna pour that into there, just like that. Uh, so I'm gonna leave that uh, for just a moment. Let it blend. Let's see if we get any smells first off. It's quite light, it's not too heavy. I'll leave that for a minute now and uh, we'll come back in just a second when it's all uh, brewed up and ready to taste. Here we go. All right, welcome back. We let it brew now for a couple of minutes. We are now gonna have a little bit of another smell. See if we get any more different flavors coming through. Remember we're looking for honey, lavender, and orange. That's what it says on the, uh, on the uh, little booklet. And uh, yeah, after that we're going to go for the slurp test, 
it's uh, as disgusting as, as it sounds, uh, but we're going to do that anyway, and then we're going to move on and actually uh, drink the coffee and uh, see what the aftertaste is like as well. So uh, I do have a few notes as well. We are going to be uh, judging everything out of five. Uh, so if it's not good, it's going to be a number one. If it's uh, really good, it's going to be number five and everything in between. So we're going to be te uh, checking it out on uh, aroma, sweetness, the taste, uh, the mouthfeel, the bitterness, and the aftertaste. Them are the, uh, the six things that we're going to be looking for as we do this. So, first of all, the aroma. Let's have a little smell. Like I said before, it's quite light. It's quite light. I'm not really getting anything, if I'm honest. Maybe a little bit of honey, just a little bit. The aroma, um, I'm gonna give it a two, if I'm honest. I'm gonna give it a two, so we'll, uh, we'll make a note of that. That's the number two there. Uh, so, now it's time for the slurp test. Uh, for this cheeky little cup, I'm gonna pour a little bit into here. Do the old uh, slurp test. So, just gonna mix it up a little bit. And again, uh, slurp test, Exactly as it sounds, you're going to slurp it off the spoon, swirl it around your mouth, see if you get any different flavours. So here we go. I'm not really getting any flavours, to be honest with you. It's quite bitter. I'm not 100% sold on that, to be honest with you. Uh, El Tolu. It's quite bitter. Uh, so there's no sweetness, so I'm actually going to give it <clears throat> a zero on the sweetness scale. Uh, the taste, I'm going to give it a two. Uh, Feeling the mouth afterwards is. is it's still in there. It's not fresh. I'm going to give it a two again. I think bitterness is uh, definite. It's got a lot of bitterness with it, so I'm going to give it a one on that. Uh, the aftertaste, I'll give it a two. I'll give it a two. So there we go. That is uh, everything tasted there. So we've got the uh, total score of out of uh, what we've got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. 30. So it's out of 30. Our score is 3. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we got 10 out of 30 there, so that's not done too good. Not done too good. However, it's funny because it tastes differently in two different places. This is very bitter in the cup with the slow test. However, when you're drinking it, it's uh, it's quite smooth. Yeah, I'm going to stick with my score on that. That is uh, 10 out of 30 for uh, El Tolu. Uh, and that one is going to be day number one. Uh, join us next time for day number two where we're going to be checking out this one right here. This one is Zarocca. Zarocca? Zarocca. Anyway, that's what we're going to check next. Uh, from Brazil, so we'll give that one a bash uh, next time, folks. Uh, in the meantime, enjoy your day, take care, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Uh, if you are new uh, to, uh, to the, uh, the videos, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. I'm trying to grow this thing, so uh, make sure you do give it a like. Uh, that really does help me out. It's coming back up again now. And uh, if you are coming to London, check out the uh, the website twaslettyours.co.uk, uh, and uh, I'd be happy to show you around. Check out the uh, the big bad city. And uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next uh, coffee tasting, which I've cleverly uh, called Coffee Break. See you next time.